Hello and welcome to Simplify TV, the web series and podcast for agencies, marketers, media buyers, and business owners. I'm David McBee. Our guest today is Granger Tripp, client partner at LiveRamp. Granger has worked across sales, customer success, product, and ad ops at companies like Adobe and Quadcast, and he manages the Simplify and LiveRamp partnership and has for the past two years helping expand into new frontiers, including identity and measurement. Granger, welcome to Simplify TV. Thank you so much for having me, David. Uh, happy, happy Thursday. And I'm really happy that you're here. Let's start by talking about LiveRamp and its role in the industry, and specifically how that connects to Simplify and LiveRamp's partnership today. Yeah, absolutely. Um... Well, like I said, thank you first and foremost for having me. Super excited to chat a little bit about LiveRamp and, and all the cool stuff we've been working on with Simplify over the past uh, few years. So I guess to start, LiveRamp is the industry's leading data collaboration platform. And in practice, this means that we're enabling brands and platforms and data providers and other businesses to safely and securely share their data with one another for the purposes of activation, measurement, and more. Uh, we recently acquired Habu, and with that established the industry's only interoperable platform for data collaboration across all clouds and walled gardens. So to look in, at an example, let's say brand A is running a campaign on Simplify and on Facebook. Let's say they have their first party data stored in one of the clouds, and they wanna gain more insight into how their campaigns are performing across different demographic groups by partnering with a third-party data provider. The LiveRamp cleanroom powered by Habu would actually allow brand A to securely collaborate with each of those partners to gain a unified and holistic view of their customer. And where Simplify sits is uh, they sit as one of our key platform partners. So brands, advertisers can activate their first-party data with Simplify. They can target third-party data segments within the Simplify platform, and then they can also deliver transaction data for the purposes of measurement and attribution. Behind all of that sits the RAMP ID, which is our pseudonymous privacy-centric identifier, and it makes all of those workflows sustainable in the cookie-less future. I'm glad you brought up the RAMP ID. I wanted to ask you about it. Uh, tell us what it is and you know how it can it be leveraged by businesses. Totally. Um, we talk about ramp ID a lot uh, in our day to day at, at live ramp. And I think it's, it's worthy of the discussion. So it's a online representation of an individual that we've built by deterministically linking offline PII, like a name or a phone number and linking those to the online world via our authenticated traffic solution, which we call ATS. So the team has been working on ATS for something like seven years, and it enables us to authenticate site traffic and link those online users to the ramp ID so that we can then tie them back to the, the offline graph. And the use cases for ramp ID, I think are, are even more exciting. So first and foremost, it's available to bid against in the bid stream. So it's super actionable. Additionally, because ramp IDs can be tied to multiple device types, it can actually be leveraged for cross device resolution, audience expansion, et cetera. And it can also be used to tie disparate data sets together by using a ramp ID, which unlocks use cases like measurement, attribution, analytics. Finally, I'll call out that they're partner encoded, which gives them this added layer of security and privacy um, for partners who want to share data with one another and, and collaborate. That's pretty exciting stuff. Let's talk about the the targeting and measurement pieces. Um, how does LiveRamp take an advertiser's data and resolve it to usable identifiers within Simplify in a privacy centric way? That's a really, really important question. Um, so LiveRamp has built and maintains the largest, most accurate deterministic identity graph in the world. And that's what we're leveraging to make offline PII actionable in the online world. It's not an easy feat, if you can imagine. Um, and we've done it by building our platform and our workflows really with privacy by design principles. It shows up in a lot of different ways. Uh, so I'll just name a few of them. Ramp IDs aren't re-identifiable. So once we translate PII into a ramp ID, you actually can't go back to PII. 
our system's going to automatically shut down workflows where there's risk of re-identification of that, of that PII. We also manage opt-out processes and work closely with our partners to ensure they're compliant with local laws and regulations. So if we want to take measurement, for example, with, with Simplify, an advertiser can deliver transaction data tied to something like an email address. They deliver it to LiveRamp and we actually strip out that PII and replace it with a ramp ID and then tie the rest of that conversion data to the ramp ID. And that's what's being delivered to Simplify. Simplify can then take that file of ramp ID next to conversion data and tie it to their own exposure data, which they also have on ramp ID. And they can use that to produce post campaign uh, measurement reports or better, even better optimize future campaigns towards a, towards an advertiser's KPI. I love all of those capabilities so much. They're so valuable to an advertiser. Um, what about the third party segments? Are, are we losing cookies this year? Or are we losing them next year? We don't know, but eventually they're going to go away. What does that do to your third party segments? That's a good question. Um, the reality is even with Google's latest announcement, like cookies will go away. And we believe wholeheartedly that cookie-less solutions are already performing better than uh, cookie-based workflows. So I think the entire LiveRamp team remains really confident in how we've prepared for cookie deprecation, including within the data marketplace. We've been working really closely with data providers uh, over the past few years to ensure that they're able to build those same high-performing audiences without the use of cookies. And we are really pushing them that companies that don't make this transition today are only going to be impaired tomorrow. So we're pretty excited that almost all of our top data providers are already doing this. So, And then on the demand side, platforms like Simplify are already leveraging ramp IDs for the purposes of, of targeting. So that's key to the, the, the whole piece, right? Taking it from start to finish of the audiences being built on ramp ID, distributed to simplify in the form of ramp ID, and then actually being targeted on ramp ID. And it always kind of like blows my mind to think back five, six, seven years, the idea of doing third-party data targeting without cookies just seems like a, a fantasy world. And today it really is the reality um, that we're able to, to support clients in, in that sort of way. I love the way you put that, like in the past, we couldn't have predicted this, but I got to tell you a little secret. When I first heard that cookies might go away, I was like, something will come along. You know, it's not like we're going to have an internet without advertising, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's something that, that Simplify and LiveRamp, uh, we, we, we share, right? Taking a, a challenge like that and thinking, how can we, how can we actually make this better? All right. So what should we be excited about in the next 12 months or so from LiveRamp? I think there's a lot to be excited about. If I haven't made it clear already today, as a company, enabling partners to excel in the cookieless future is a major priority of, of LiveRamp. Ramp ID is the backbone of everything we do, and it's really key to, to all of the workflows that we power across activation, measurement, clean rooms, and beyond. The fact of the matter is that 50% of the web's already cookieless. And we know that cookieless solutions work better today as a result of the time and effort that we've put into bringing Ramp ID into the ecosystem. 92% of consumer time online in the US is spent on sites connected with LiveRamp addressability solutions, which means that a marketer working with LiveRamp is soon going to be able to find 95% of the US population through our integrations, all without the need for a third party cookie. So given how important identity is to what we do here at LiveRamp and how focused we are on bringing Ramp ID everywhere, I think there's a ton to be excited about in terms of what we've already unlocked to date and also what's to come. Great stuff. I, uh, I appreciate you being here. Before I let you go, I, uh, I like to ask all my guests if they have a favorite book or a podcast that they feel has been instrumental in their success. Ooh, that's a good, uh, that's a good closer. Um, I won't name, I won't name one. I'll say that I was a, a English and communications major in college. Uh, and I think clear communication and good writing and, um, yeah, being able to just communicate effectively is, is important in all types of businesses. So that's my, uh, my shout out for, for the liberal arts. All right. I like that as a guy who has a theater degree and is an author, two thumbs up for that answer. Exactly. 
All right, Granger, what's the best way for people to get a hold of you? Totally. Um, you can find me on LinkedIn, Granger Trip. Uh, you can also shoot me an email, firstname.lastname at liveramp.com, and I'd love to hear from, uh, from any viewers. All right. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, David. And thank you guys for watching. Simplify TV is sponsored by Simplify, helping you to maximize relevance and multiply results with our industry-leading media buying and workflow solutions. For more information, visit simply.fi. And follow us on LinkedIn to be notified of our latest episodes. Thanks for joining us today. I'm David McBee. Be awesome. And we'll see you next time.